Good morning. Welcome to day 21 for the Manifesting Challenge Coffee Chat with Amira. You know, it's impossible not to dream. In fact, you were born to dream. You were born with dreams. I call them your heart's desires. The problem is most people think that they don't have dreams or they can't think about what they'd like to create for themselves. And I've been witnessing and observing many of you have reached out to me that that's the biggest problem with a lot of people is they stop dreaming. They stopped realizing their potential or thinking that there was something else that they could experience or the universe had to deliver for them. So even some of the most experienced and successful individuals have put their dreams on a shelf. They've left them behind. Basically, I believe that that is something that you were born with. You were born, it's almost like a scavenger hunt that we're the universe or our soul created for ourselves. It's like a treasure hunt and taking one step at a time, we get to reveal it to ourselves. And so it's a journey that we go through. And being that most of us are in our head, we're overly intellectualized or analyzing um, what we do, how we do it, when we do it. And we're all programmed like this from a very early age in our educational system, our societal, cultural beliefs, etc. have sort of directed us along those ways. And so that's what's happened over time is we become buried under all of these rules and programming and got to do it this way. And I should do this first. And then I can have this and my kids come first and you lose sight of your own dreams and goals. So the, again, the reason that I pushed the manifesting challenge on myself and offered it to you at no cost was because I could see how stuck you were, how you stopped dreaming, how you stopped believing in yourself. And I created the challenge to push you, to push myself to keep my feet to the ground and commit and take baby steps into the great unknown. And a couple of you, Dr. Rebecca, thank you for sharing your journey of not knowing what your one incredible thing was, but just applying the techniques, just showing up here for the live calls and doing the practice at home gave her a push that she needed. And all of a sudden, the, the job that she really wanted, that she sort of lackadaisically put out there, you know, over a year and a half ago that she wanted to make so much money a month, she sort of dismissed that along the way. Yes, she got a newer job, a better job, a, a higher paying job. But when that when, you know, things just went awry and she realized that that wasn't her calling either and things just didn't, it wasn't a good fit. Bottom line is she's taking steps in a new direction, yet that will be revealed to her if, if that's going to be for her, but it looks pretty good. So that's what's happening is it's a journey of discovering for yourself. My God, I can have that. Mm -hmm. Believing in yourself, believing that it's possible. And I know myself, sometimes I don't have a clear vision for what it is I want, but I know that these techniques, these tools are the quickest drive-through process I've learned over the 24 years of me doing this work, that that's possible for you. So I really encourage you to practice the tools, to go back to the replays, to reach out to me. Um, I will send you a link where you can reach out to me. We can have a chat, a 30-minute chat. Because the other thing I realized is until you're really committed or until you get the support helping you stay committed to yourself, you're not going to do it. Nothing's going to change. And, and, you know, studies have shown when people... Um, receive a program or a workshop or they do something that's free, chances are there's less than 10% of them that truly get the transformation. Why? Because they're not able to stay the course. They're not able to follow through and check in on themselves or, or make the progress because they get 
lost in their story, in their head, in their analyzing, and all those familiar patterns that kept you stuck in the first place. So I'd like to offer you that to reach out to me. Let's book a call. Let's talk about what you could do to get yourself out of this being stuck and reset yourself to the next incredible thing that you're ready to explore, to develop, to um, to grow within yourself. Perhaps you need to grow into it. And that's that's all part of our journey. All of us do. You know, I often share that I didn't like to come on camera or to speak to you off the cuff. I can talk all day long, but as soon as there's a camera there or a microphone, I start to get jumbled up. And what I recognized is, did I believe in myself? Well, yeah, I believed I could do it, but I was scared as hell. <laughs> and I don't even know it was an energetic rush that would come at me from other people's energies. And that is a very real factor. And I often talk about that, keeping your energy field clear and how empaths can protect their energy shield. But bottom line, it has to do with my frequency and how strong or resilient it is to not blocking the flow, but, you know, um, sort of setting up a healthy parameter of where my energy starts and stops and where yours starts and stops. So that's a whole nother story. But that was my journey of building that frequency, building my confidence, building my trust in myself, building the practice. I had to take the steps. So thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for joining me. I sure hope you've learned something um, through this coffee challenge. Um, coffee chat. This is a coffee chat. Yeah, this is a challenge for me too, obviously. But we, when we show up, you know, the universe will support us. So I'm not quite sure where this is going to take me. Uh, there may be a podcast in the coming, there may be more interviews or might be taking my talks more out into public. I'm not quite sure yet. That's not clear for me. See, so it's a process and I'm ready to take it on. And I sure hope that you're ready to take yourself on and to get unstuck if that's where you're at. And if you're needing more clarity about you got an idea, but you're not quite sure, let's book that call. Let's get on the on the phone and heart to heart, mind to mind. Let's let's figure that out for you. OK, I got some ideas for you, I'm sure. And uh, it'll be a joy to to speak to you. So look forward to that.